Okay, in this project I want to show you how to begin to create a textured library in digital photography. So I'm working with a Nikon D7100 and I do not have a macro lens. So what you'll find if you do not have a macro lens, it might be difficult to get really close to your objects. So what we're going to do is we'll crop them. First thing to do is go outside and shoot pictures. You'll find that your best photos will be in indirect sunlight, um, outdoors if you don't have a, uh, proper flashes and things of the sort. So look for interesting textures. So I have some images here and of textures. And the first thing that I always do is I take a look at them and the ones that are not clear I delete. Okay, so the ones that are not clear I delete. All right. And I'm going to come on back one more time and make some decisions. So this one is blurry, so I'm going to delete it. Don't want to work with that one, so I'm editing. So much of working with digital photography is editing. I'm going to hold on to that one. This one is also blurry. I'm going to move this one to my trash. One, two, three, four. This one has some interesting parts I might crop it and hold on to because I really do like this image. Probably should have taken that outside and worked with it outside. Okay, so here we go. I think I have some interesting images and I'm going to get started. These ones are a little bit blurry. Not sure which one I like better. I'll open it in Photoshop and see what I think. Okay, so here goes. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start opening up my photos that I want to work with. So I'm going to come on in, I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to find that place where I put my, my images that I want to work with from my camera. So I begin, I come and I look. So I'm going to open up four at a time just because I feel that it's easier. I don't like to open up all of them. Sometimes I get a little confused. Um, so if I can open up more than one image, I just hold down Shift, I hit Open, and there we have it. File open, here they come, voila. Okay, step one, I'm gonna to come to my first image. Now, I might decide that I wanna crop this image. I might wanna just really focus in on this section over in here. So I come, I grab my crop tool, and I click, I'm gonna bring this on over, and I'm gonna end right about there. Maybe I'll come up a little bit as well and focus in like so. Now, in order to crop, I just double click and there we have it. Now, I also wanna work with this image a little bit more as well. So, if I look at my workspace, my workspace is set at essentials. You might be seeing different windows over here. You can always reset your workspace, just hit reset essentials and this is what it will look like. Now, we have our layers. Our layers are really an important part of Photoshop. If you do not see your layers, just come to Window and hit Layers and it will open up. Now, I'm also going to work with my Adjustments window for this project. I'm just going to do some simple changes that will really make for a really nice photograph. So I'm going to come on in here and if you don't get, if you do not see your Adjustments window, just come to Window, Adjustments, and there you have it. Okay, so I am going to just look at my um, I'm going to start, I have my curves, I'm going to start with my levels, I'm going to click levels and what happens here when we look at the levels is we're seeing the distribution of value across this image. Now, our computer takes our image and it puts color and information on different channels. We have a red, a green, and a blue channel. And as we go to these different ones, we can see that value is distributed differently on these different values, on these different channels. So what's value? Dark to light. Okay, so all I'm going to do right now is I am going to just kind of work with this a little and see what I think. I can turn this on and off. Changes it a little bit, not so much, but sometimes just doing that can make for a really nice photo. I'm also going to just work a tiny bit with the hue and the saturation. Okay, so let's see if I saturate my image just a little bit more. The color might come up a little bit. All right, so that's very slight, and even in this video, you might not even see it fully. But let me up it a little bit more, okay, so we can see. Now, wow, if I go crazy, see, I've just overdone it. We don't want to overdo it. 
we want to just get to this nice image kind of we could say it's like turning up the volume a little bit and there we have it now this is a done image I'm ready now I've done my first texture photo I'm gonna come file save as and I'm gonna save it as a JPEG so I come right here I save it as a JPEG I'm going to name it 01 branches and I hit save now I'm just going to do a medium which is fine I'm gonna hit OK and there we have it I've created my first texture photograph now again all these different layers um, are there and we can see we can turn our eyeball ball on and off to see the changes that we made